For decades, it's been the focal point of many a family home, though not everyone's happy with today's TV. He's like a bloody bad spell, that Mold Evans, isn't he? Yeah. Hey? But now the way we consume television is going to change with a revolution oh, promising power on. to the viewer. What's driving this revolution is a major change in the technology of TV. For decades, what we get has been limited by what arrives from our aerials or more recently our satellite dishes. But in the coming years, more and more television is going to come down our phone lines from the internet. And in the coming days, three TV revolutionaries will be demonstrating just what that could mean. Meet Dan, leading a telephone company's charge into TV. Andy, whose TV channel is going into broadband. And Paul, whose new website could really shake things up. Dan Marks is masterminding BT's new television service, which launches next Monday. BT Vision won't make programmes, just sell everything from movies to football to be downloaded via a broadband phone line. Viewers will need a new box, but will only pay for what they use. The thing that broadband does is allow customers to choose. They can choose when they want to watch programming and how they want to watch it. And that changes, in a fundamental sense, the relationship between consumer and producer. At Channel 4, the boss, Andy Duncan, is getting ready for what he calls a world first. I don't think you can actually cook. If you'd have from next Wednesday, viewers will be able to download most of his channel's output from the internet. They can rent programmes or pay to own them outright to view on their computers or on TV. I think the broadcasters that move quickly, that take advantage of these opportunities, can still do very well. Um, the broadcasters that are, are slow and get left behind will really struggle to catch up. But ultimately, all of this is very good if you're an audience, a viewer, a consumer, it's putting you in control. But Paul Cleghorn could be the biggest revolutionary with Tape It Off the Internet. His website helps users hunt down TV programmes on the net, some put there by broadcasters, others pirated by viewers. He says he'll take down anything unauthorised, but he too is talking about power to the people. I think internet television is generally going to make people find new shows, old shows that they used to know, put them together in new ways, create their own channel basically. The internet promises to give viewers far more sway over television. What's not clear is whether they'll then spend more time watching it. Rory Kathleen-Jones, BBC News.